Good time of the day, ladies and gents. Today, BG released a pretty big patch, which is uh, primarily a uh, technical technical fixes. This is the first patch from their big roadmap, and we're gonna go through the patch notes, and I'll show you what's what's up with the patch. So, first of all, they configured the sound system for Lighthouse and Interchange. Uh, as you know, sound and Interchange wasn't the best. And uh, whenever I was playing Interchange, I typically could never understand if the player is on the same level as me, above me, or below me. So hopefully this is fixed. Fix the main sound issue areas on reserve and labs. I assume those areas are... So this area is on labs, right here. Like, can you, can you like, uh, like run here a bit, like, like up to here, like up and down, and then run, run outside. So like up, down, outside. This was a big problem. There is literally no sounds. Z so I assume this area on labs is getting fixed and on reserve. If you know when you go to D2 where you activate the power, um, if you come if you come from the... I don't even know how you call this place. Basically when you go down by the metal staircase, aka the Harry, Harry Potter staircase, there is a room to the left, like a really small closed room. And whenever people would run inside it, and shoot or chuck nades, there would be literally no sounds. So you could see the guy running one meter away from you and there would be absolutely no sounds. The guy could be shooting the gun, you would be able to see the flash from, from the gun, but there would be no sounds. So I think this is the area that is getting fixed on reserve. And maybe there is more areas on top of that. All right. Rework the sound engine for the voice lines. The sound is now more realistic, adjusted curves for the volume drop, muffling, transparency of the sound at the distance, and voice lines are balanced in accordance with the loudness of the phrase. So I guess if the guy is shouting now, it's gonna be louder. But if he's talking in the usual way, it's gonna be quieter. Improved active headset system. Lower the volume level for all headsets, amplified high frequencies for more realistic sound, added functionality that gives some headsets an advantage by increasing the hearing radius of footsteps and voices. All right, this is interesting. Ooh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel that bassy anymore. It feels like the whole effect of the headset is way way quieter. I actually don't mind sardines. Ooh, this, this sounds bad. Contact 2 used to be my favorite headset before this patch. Now I don't like them. Contact 4 still sound great. Because I wonder which headset is going to be the meta now. I hope it is not going to be the Comtact, uh, Comtact 4. Because they are very expensive on the flea now. People sell them for 250k. And this is the only way to get this headset. But we'll see. Adjusted audio tracks that had sound artifacts. Background noises. Noise. There was one scare voice line where you could hear BSG employees uh, whispering something to each other. And talking in the background. So this is getting fixed. And maybe some other ones. Fix the sound effect of concussion which appeared when using Golden Star Bomb or when stunned by a grenade. The effect is now smoother, the sound of tinnitus is played in stereo mode uh, without the positioning effect when turning your head. Balance sound volume for M18 grenade to match other grenades of this type. Fixed an issue with short term muting of the sound when the sound source transitions between the rooms. So I think this might be to do with the steps. When, let's say, the guy, as I gave you an example of laps, like, the guy was completely muted in the room, but I think it was a bit, a bit different. Uh, it was to do with the actual area in between the rooms. So, room A, room B, and there's, like, a gap in the middle. And when the guy was moving from room A to room B, or maybe shooting while moving from room A to room B, there might have been some problems. So, this is supposed to be fixed. Fixed an issue that occurred when opening a door where the sound source behind it could sound muffled. All right. Fixed an issue where leaning against the wall would allow you to hear everything in the room behind the wall. Fix visual bugs when using flashlights. Flashlights no longer shine through walls and other obstacles. Fixed flickering of disabled flashlights and weapons on your back. It wasn't only on the back. Like sometimes you could like well always. Always when you play with disabled flashlights on your gun in your hands, it was also bugged. 
and this is how it looks like. So I died to a Chiro that was, that had that flashlight bug yesterday. Um, you can you can see the flashlight in the middle of my screen. That's how it looked like. Even though even though the flashlight is off, I can still see it. See it. And when I move close to him, the bug disappears. So it happened it happened only on the distance. So this thing is supposed to be fixed now. And fix brightness and beam range of some flashlights. All right. So maybe maybe new flashlights matter. Bots can no longer instantly rotate while prone. Good. Disabled experience gain for killing and looting players in the same group. Doctex of such players will be sold to traders for one ruble and will not be considered found in raid. Great. I also hope uh, that BSG will increase the price of Doctex, as Pastelli said. So there is more incentive to PvP and get those Doctex. Reduce frequency of bot voice lines and shouting during the combat. Alright, well... I guess uh, this is more or less it. There are the patch notes. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you sub to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Take care.